Hello, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. So you can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Now, if you kiss in, if you heard me just say we live and you ain't make it, if there's anything monumental from the live, it'll go on this channel, man. Uh, so, you know, hit the like button. I mean, go, go sub up. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. I did record a Patreon video today. It got deleted. I don't know where it is. You know how you accidentally delete something and you got a recycling bin on your on your computer? It didn't even go there. Like, uh, okay. That's what we doing now? All right. Anyways, and this is a Discord. Um, let's get into this, though, man. This is... Inside England's second most deprived area. So it's an area, it ain't even a town. Y'all got a deprived area? Shout out to my baby mama, man. One thing she introduced me to that I wasn't that much into before is carrot cake. <laughs> Other than that, Let's get into it. That hard asset is a... This is Nosley on Merseyside. Home to around 150,000 residents. Where is it? Hold on, where is this? This is Nosley on Merseyside, oh, home to around 150,000 residents. And out of 317 local authorities in England, Nosley is the second most deprived in the country. Oh. What's the first? This is the new hot centre, a community space run by former Labour councillor Gary C. It runs groups for local people, offers free hot meals to those who need them, and runs a social supermarket where people can pick up everyday staples at reduced prices. Where does all this come from? It comes from a variety of places. Um, but if I'm being really honest, we're really struggling now because there's a lot of organisations similar to what we do who are all going to the same people for the same stuff. Oh, it's the first thing you notice. It's so warm in here, Gary. You like the warmth. It's lovely. In 2020, pandemics, let's take November 2020. Ah, yeah. How many Speaking of carrots. In 2020, pandemics, let's take November 2020. Yeah. How many people were you helping? Do you so just, just over 150 people right, in, in November 2020. 2020. So a year ago, 2021. So a year ago, we were just over 700. In November 2021. November. And November this year? 1,190. Damn. So what's going on? People's need is growing. This is a solution. This is not a food bank where people get given things. This is an opportunity for people to choose what they want. Yeah. But obviously, get at a greatly reduced price, but sure. the same quality as you would get in a supermarket. Supermarket, lad. Yeah. Got to take this video seriously because it's it's really an epidemic going on in the UK, man. Inflation is crazy. The cost of food, the cost of living, everything is going up but wages. It's ridiculous. Steph's got two children, age six and one. She works part-time in customer service. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Tonight, the family are going to the neighborhood's free Christmas event. So basically this is something that Kiowa community put on for our kids every year. You know, they bring Santa out, they bring the elves, the Grinch. With it being a free event, it's so easy just to come out onto your door. So this is in Liverpool. I don't know what every town in Liverpool is called. I just know Liverpool. But there's little areas called different things. Because this is the second accident that I haven't heard. With the kids allowing them to see Santa, you know, because we can't all afford to go and go to a pay for a grotto. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. 
No more pausing after this. So for my, when my daughter was her first Christmas, I think. Do you know I went to the mall to see Santa, and to and, and to, for my daughter to stand in line and, and and do the whole Santa experience. It was like thirty dollars. I said, bro, wasn't this free when I was a kid? I had to call my mom and ask, and she said, no, it was not free. I was like, wow. Guess where she didn't sit? <laughs> not on Santa lap. Not for $30. Shoot, you better write Santa a note for free. Data given to Newsnight shows that 86% of single parent families have reported going without essentials in the last month. Over 50% of those households said family members had gone hungry. And almost a quarter of single parents who are renting said they were in arrears. What's that mean? Steph uses the food hub at Gary's center, but even with that help, things are hard. So how are you getting on, Steph? What would you oh, say? Um, surviving. Surviving? Surviving. Is that what it feels like? Sometimes, yeah. Like, beginning of the month's not as bad, but then obviously the end of the month before you get your payday, it's, it's a deadline. Do you find that you are running out of money by the end of the month then? So, you know, you could have anywhere from between like 25 up to your last pound. You've got a beautiful... God damn. Home. And some people might look at it and go, it can't be that bad today. What would you say to them? Everything that I've got is comes from when I did work full time and when I did have a partner and he worked full time and everything that we got was, it came with me. Um, so, yeah, they don't see that. And they don't see when, you know, when I've missed the payment on my card and I'm, like, trying to get the money back together just to be out of arrears to try and fix fix the situation. Yeah, because I watch, I watch that show. Can't pay, we'll take it away. They'll come get it. You don't want that. You would like to work full time, five days a week, but actually you can't afford to because the childcare is so expensive. It's £50 a day for, for what I pay childcare. It's still a lot. It's still a lot of money for... Man, listen. £50 a day? You know how much childcare here is? For, for, for a week? For my daughter to go to daycare for one week, it's 800 and something dollars. 800 plus. A mom who is single, who wants to wear, who wants to wear full time, but it's just not, you just can't, it's, it, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, it's not you, you can't, you, no, so you can't afford to work full time. No. Because even working full time, mm. you would not be able to afford yeah. 50 quid a day, five days a yeah. week, four weeks a month yeah. to, for the childcare. Do you spend it's ridiculous. a lot of time thinking about how you could make things better? And I said, sometimes I think, you know, well, I'll get rid of my car. I'll, you know, I'll have and, like, get rid of that. Not, not have that. And then I think, well, that's me lifeline as well. That's how I get to work. It's how I get to shop. Sometimes I walk around with my calculator. I'm like, you know, well, I don't need to get that. So I'll just get this, this, this. Or, and then I've got my son going, Mom, can I add this? And you're like, no. In terms of energy costs going up, in terms of food costs going up, how, how are you managing all that? I'm on a prepay meter. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's a lot harder to manage because you know, if I've if I've only got you know a twenty pound by the end of the month for my left wait what trickle gas goes, then I have to wait. What the, what the hell is she talking about? Y'all got prepaid and paid meters. I am so lost right now. What are y'all talking about? So she pays her gas before she uses it. And if she uses it all by the by, yo, <laughs> use some of that to, to put back in, and it's so expensive. Like it's 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 at a point where you are scared to put your heating on. You are scared to you know have your hob on for longer than five minutes if you if you're cooking something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twen
see. The U.S. administration has introduced a health care subsidy program to support. Not even going to lie. I couldn't even imagine. What do you mean you're on a prepaid meter? I can't. What do you talk? What are we talking? I know there's a meter. There's not even a meter for electricity here. I don't even know, honestly. But what she said was shocking. Three. 68-year-old Linda also gets help from the center. She goes to the free food club for a hot meal and she uses the social supermarket. Linda is a mom of two. Good morning. Linda. She's got 10 grandchildren and she's got four great-grandchildren. Yeah. How tough are things for you right now, would you say? I only live on my pension. That's all I have, my pension, which is £700 a month. Um, so I do like my gas, my lecky, my water, my poll tax. I've got a life insurance. Food? Food, yeah, food. Have you considered trying to get pension credit? Yeah. I did try. I tried when I first come, when I retired two years ago, I tried on the phone and they said, unfortunately, you don't qualify because you're 29 pence over due to the pension going up. What are the things that you are having to cut back on? Food, obviously. Um, two meals a day. If I'm really hungry, I'll eat three. Um, heating. I used to have the heating on if I was in most of the day, all around the house. Whereas now, I just keep it to one room of a night. I have it on an hour of a morning um, and an hour tea time. I used to go to the bingo three times a week. So now I only go once a week. I don't think that was a necessary thing to put in your, like what, bingo don't matter. I see you. Data given to Newsnight by Age UK found that over 60% of the over 60s say they've cut back on heating their homes. 35% say they've cut back on food to make ends meet. Have you ever known things? Cutting back on food is crazy. Things to be as tough as this? No. Never. It gets tough. I don't get upset. Mm. I used to. I used to get upset. And then I said, well, what's the use of crying? Because, you know, life's, life's life. I ain't gonna lie, life do be life and sometimes, man. It be... <laughs> Back at the centre, Gary's getting ready to go on his rounds. So, where are we going, Gary? What are we doing? What's this man used for? So... We are going out now to visit a couple of older people um, that we uh, know from the work that we do are struggling with the cold at the moment, so we're supplying. So y'all still do furnaces? Because here, like, most places here got, like, um, central air, like central AC, central heating. Like, that means, like, I'm in an apartment complex. The roof on the roof... They they got the air so the air units, so it comes out of vents. There's no actual, you know what I'm saying. So it's more cost efficient. In uh, electric blankets. And where do you get your funding from? So we are lucky at the moment that we get a substantial amount of funding through the local authority. Right. So we've recently been given sixty thousand pounds, which will get us through till March okay. time. So who pays for you? Who pays for? the stuff that you're delivering to people. So we're, again, fortunate that we get support from bigger funders who are philanthropists. The rest of it is volunteers. Is there an individual, is there a family that have really stuck in your mind that you've helped in the last few months? We was in the local leisure centre and we were doing activities with the children as part of the half provision to feed children with a nice activity. And I'd noticed this family had come for a few days consecutively. And just through conversation with mum, my initial conversation was about the food and thinking that was the only thing she needed. And what she said to me was that she was happy 
because the children have been able to get a wash. And so that, they were going for a swim so they could get clean. Yeah. For, that was her motivation. M M Mum's purpose was to take the children to get fed, but most importantly get washed. She couldn't afford to heat the water at home. When it's that bad, that's 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 too bad. Not not too bad as an oh well get over it, but that's too bad as a human race for that to be going on. And like like what the f like like I know it get ugly sometimes, man. But you can't even put the water on the stove to heat it up. You gotta like. Hello, Anne. Hello, Anne. How are you? Oh, fine. Yes, we've been trying to get hold of the electric blanket. So this is one for you, which I know we were talking about. Oh, thank you very much. And I know. This would be lovely. It'll make a difference. I'll never get out of bed at all now. No. <laughs> Don't play like that, Anne. Does it make you angry? I'm angry because I want to live in a country where we do look after one another and we support one another, which is why we do what we do as an organisation. That's what I'm saying. Like, as a human race, like, how do we let it get that bad? How do we assist, like, people not being able to watch their kids is crazy. I remember one time I came home and the building ain't had no cold water, like, on hot water. Like, I felt, like, I felt like... Bro, like, what? I felt so little. Like, I felt... Because I didn't know, I didn't go look at my emails or anything. I just walked in and thought I didn't have no hot water. Like, what the f You know what I'm saying? But we used to do these things, you know, many years ago. Because it was nice to do it. It was fun to do it. It was about our community coming together. Right now, our community's coming together because it's facing some of the most dire situations it could ever face. So my anger comes from a passion and a desire to make sure people have got what they need. If we didn't. Dude's teeth straight in the mud. He got veneers or something? My fear is, what would, what would happen to these people? No offense, but them is the straightest teeth I've ever seen in the UK. My bad. That's a serious video, man. But that's heartbreaking. But at the same time, like, man, we as a community, like, I don't know, man. Ain't Rishi over there supposed to be doing some great stuff? Like, what's going on? Come on, man. Tell y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.